please someone here answer my question why allah resurrected jesus peace be upon him but he did not resurrect muhammad peace be upon him is allah being biased that's a very good question asked by mary that why did allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrect isa alayhi salam lifted jesus christ peace be upon him alive but why didn't he do the same for the last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him and there is a verse in the quran in in uh, surah nisa chapter number 4 verse number 157 that wa ma qataluhu wa ma salabu they killed him not neither did they crucify him it was only made to appear so quran is very clear cut that jesus christ peace be upon him was not killed was not crucified it was made to appear so the next verse surah nisa chapter 4 verse number 1 158 says allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him up alive unto himself so quran is very clear cut there are various hadith that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised up isa alayhi salam alive now amongst the various messengers there are 25 messengers mentioned by name in the quran 99 in the hadith and the prophet said there were 124000 messengers sent on the face of the earth allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only messenger that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lifted up alive is isa alayhi salam so the question posed is why didn't he do the same to muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is allah biased the reason you asking this question is because you are not aware why did allah raise up allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why did allah raise isa alayhi salam alive The reason Allah Subhanahu wa Taala raised up Isa alayhi salam alive is because he was the only messenger of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala whose followers as a whole mistook that he claimed divinity. He claimed that he was God. So the followers of Isa alayhi salam today, what they call themselves Christians, they most of them they mistook that Isa alayhi salam claimed divinity, that Jesus Christ peace be upon him claimed to be God Almighty. So because of that when they were going to crucify him or when they were about to kill him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him up alive The reason Allah raised him up alive is because it also mentioned in the Quran and several hadith including the Bible that Isa alayhi salam will again come back on this earth In his second coming he will testify to the human being that he never told them to worship me or worship his mother but he said abdullah abdullah worship allah rabbi wa rabbukum ya lord and mohammed so it is mentioned in the quran that isa alayhi salam it is mentioned in the quran clearly in surah maida chapter number 5 verse number 72 laqad qafar allazina qalu inna allah isa ibn maryam that they are doing kuf those who say that jesus son of mary is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa qala al masih but said jesus peace be upon him ya bani israel o children of israel o budullah worship allah rabbi wa rabbukum who is my lord and your lord in no me shrik billah anyone who associate partners with allah faqad harama allah lil jannah allah will make jannat haram for him wa ma wa hun nar wa ma li zalbil min ansar and fire shall be dwelling place and he shall have no helper in the hereafter so jesus christ peace be upon him was very clear that he never told anyone to worship him but he said abdullah worship allah rabbi wa rabbukum my lord and your lord he clearly said anyone who associate partners with allah allah will make jannah haram for him wama wa hun nar wama li zalim min nasar he shall have he shall have no help in the hereafter and fire shall be his dwelling place so in the second coming allah says in surah maida chapter number 5 in the last few verses that in the second coming allah isa alayhi salam will testify to allah that he never said that they should worship him but he said abdullah worship allah rabbi wa rabbukum my lord and your lord so allah subhanahu wa taala raised up isa alayhi salam because most of his followers mistook that he claimed divinity so in the second coming he will clarify the misconception of the christians and testify to them that he was not god as far as muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was concerned he was one of the most successful of all the messengers he was the last and final messenger of allah subhanahu wa taala he was the seal of the prophets and in this hajjul al wida he clearly said did i deliver the message to you and there were 124000 sahab all of them said yes so the people agreed he was the messenger of god no one mistook that nouz billah muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam claimed divinity and everyone agreed he was the best exemplary muslim he was the best exemplary messenger he was a messenger of god he was a rasulullah so there was no need to resurrect him 
So for you saying that Allah is biased is because of your ignorance. In fact, Allah raised up Isa for a purpose so that he testifies and removes the allegation against Isa that he claimed divinity. That's the reason he's been raised up alive. There was no such allegation against Muhammad So there was no requirement for Allah to raise him up alive. Hope that answers the question.